Good morning. Welcome back to the Real Tree Guard channel. In a bit of a rush this morning. Um, I didn't, sorry, I forgot to upload today's video. Um, or yesterday's video. Um, last night, and I normally do it in the morning. So uh, I'm rushing to work, so let's get to the yard. We're on site today, um, I'm in the woods, spending a little bit of time trying to find out what we're getting up to. Um, I've got a list of all the trees and priority and, and maps of everything, so trying to find what needs to be done. Um, we've got a bunch of elm trees out on the main road that want to be felled because um, they're dead and dangerous, um, but we don't have signs and cones and appropriate stuff to do that today, so I'd imagine I'm, I'm starting late tomorrow, so I'd imagine I'll probably get the guys out there. It's pretty easy, tiny little trees. Um, but in the woods we've got, up behind me is a holly tree. That's got to be reduced by 40%, six, six meters or so, because there's some hollowing and it kind of goes over towards the neighbor's property. So just to, just to prevent any chance of it going over there. Again, the neighbor's property is just another woodlands before it gets to their house. So if it fell, it would even make a noise. Um, and then we've got a bunch of trees to sever ivy and remove um, basil growth off of lime trees. That's just so that when they get another inspection done, they can have another look at the stem and they can basically make a, a good final decision of the health of the base of the stem. The trees themselves look fine, but a bunch of sycamore to, to strip ivy from uh, and two or three limes to uh, not strip ivy sorry, sorry take a, a cutting out to prevent it from growing up and thickening um, and then two or three lime trees to remove epicormic basil growth from which um, is pretty common on, on lime trees um, well almost 99% you know, of them as a characteristic put on that epicormic growth and uh, huh, looks like someone's been hunting um, yeah so not too interesting to start the day so just checking in with you um really not going to be much about it but really all you do with ivy severing is i take like a two or a couple of foot section of ivy um strip it obviously can't touch the stem the cambium you don't want to damage that um set and then that's it you've got access prevents it from continuing growth up the tree um but also gives the inspectors a chance to come in and, and have another look at them make their final decision on whether to deem them as uh, removals put them on my hit list or and the lime tree epicormic usually grows back within six months to a year um, but it's quite overwhelming at the minute so we're going to get it down so that they can come back um, we've got a whole strip of probably similar stuff to be done um, tomorrow as well um, amongst a, a few deadwoods as well but um, yeah just checking in let you know what we're getting up to probably nothing much to film probably get a little clip of what you do with them but pretty self-explanatory get rid of the ivy so it stops growing um, and it takes a lot longer for it to then rejoin and start again so it'll die and unlikely they'll get you see me yesterday I was someone stripped the ivy off the base and then that killed it off in the tree and allowed me while I was deadwooding it to just pop it out. So, um, because these trees are, as you can see, tucked away in a woodland amongst, you know, the arse end of the, of the property in the middle of nowhere. I don't even know if you can see the sky. Oh, there's a school over there. So nobody's ever going to come over this way, but um, just something to give them peace of mind because of how close it is to the road. So let's get to it. All right, first tree I'm going to be climbing is Soak to Deadwood. A couple of us up there should uh, make pretty quick work of it.
başladım. No, nothing. No, the next load is just reductions. set up. Joe's going to jump up this oak tree. It's only a little crown up there. Pretty tall tree. Huge at the base but it's got some decay down there. So we're going to take some weight out to reduce the sale now um, with plans for future works. Assuming that, that well, definitely the decay won't stop. So he's going to jump up and then we're going to pull the zip line wire or line up there and retie it on. We're going to zip line all the branches down to here straight into the chipper onto the next one. leave that peg if you can as your like, main point and then you can just fling it down but yeah any logs just drop into the undergrowth
once the branch starts to come, you let go. Yeah. And then I'll keep holding. Oh, right. Oh, is it because of the drop? You've got right? coming. Just notice that whole drop coming over. Why well, is it because of the shunt that it comes out? Uh, it's just because it's leaning that way a bit. Back up. Pull it tight, yeah? Melt there. Right, we go. Oh, I got it. Yeah? I just said. That was the intention. <laughs> and that is it. He will wait, he will hold his pits until like first thing in the morning. You let him out in the garden and he's taken for a walk. Mental. He's, he's just an old person. So he's a little westy. They don't do a lot even when they're young. He's just trying to mope around. And it's not even real. They get fucking paid peas for it and all. Hold on. Yep. Oh, sorry, let's try and yank it. Yeah. It will. And we're done, haven't had a chance to have some food, so just chilling in the van, having something to eat before we finish up. The guys are kindly cleaning up for me. Um, not really much going on today. I've spent a lot of my time looking around at trees in the woods to plan my days ahead. I've got another day here tomorrow, but I'm going to be late because uh, I've got a doctor's appointment. So I just had to kind of plan what the guy's going to be getting up to at least beforehand uh, until I arrive. Um, and contracts like this where you've got sort of a tree of consultation company come in and inspect all the trees and then so I've got a map and an order of every single tree that needs to be done and the priorities they need to be done we have spent quite a lot of time here 
prior to today. So I've done most of the, the sort of immediate problem trees. So really it's kind of whatever I fancy doing, but obviously wanting to keep this school, the private school as a customer, got to perform. So um, just trying to really make sure they get the most out of what we're charging them. Um, that's it really. So plan tomorrow's gonna let the guys know what they're getting up to tomorrow and uh, head home. And we're done in the car now obviously but um didn't actually have to tip off because while i was on my lunch um one of the greenskeepers requested that they uh they take our chip so i think we're gonna be tipping there tomorrow as well um always a bonus not having to come back and do anything other than chuck some tools off leave all the cleanup equipment and ladders on anyway for the next day so should be pretty quick with the uh, getting out of the yard for the boys in the morning um don't wanna leave them in the deep too much so plans have made so hopefully i will uh just slot in and, and help out once I arrive on site tomorrow after my doctor's appointment. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. Um, same again tomorrow. <laughs> um, I've been the real tree guy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I shall see you in the morning.